Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why Native Americans didn't wipe out Europeans with diseases. While estimates vary, approximately 20 to 50 million people are believed to have lived in the Americas shortly before Europeans arrived. Around 95% of them were killed by European diseases. So why didn't 19 out of 20 Europeans die from Native American diseases? The short answer is that Europeans simply had more robust immune systems. Several factors contributed to this. First, Europeans had been the caretakers of domestic animals for thousands of years and had, over time, grown somewhat immune to the common diseases that accompanied the domestication of such food sources. Native Americans, on the other hand, were largely hunters and gatherers, and even in some domestication cases, its thought exposure was limited. For instance, as Jared Diamond, author of Guns, Germs, and Steel, states, The Incas had llamas, but llamas aren't like European cows and sheep. They're not milked, they're not kept in large herds, and they don't live in barns and huts alongside humans. There was no significant exchange of germs between llamas and people. Second, Europeans lived in more densely populated areas than Native Americans. When so many humans live together in relatively close quarters, particularly with lack of good or many sewage systems and the like, disease spreads quickly, with the general population continually getting exposed to numerous different pathogens. The Europeans' bodies had to adapt to dealing with many of these diseases, and for those who survived, their immune systems thrived as a result. The third factor is travel and exchange. Groups of people and animals moved around a lot in Europe and had interactions, particularly through war and trade, resulting in the spread of disease across continents and eventually some level of immunity for the survivors. All of these things resulted in Europeans being regularly exposed to many more pathogens than Native Americans were. The Europeans' immune systems simply developed to ward off the worst of some of the nastier diseases that incapacitated entire Native American populations. That same immunity protected them from diseases that Native Americans might have given them, or at least made it so the new diseases that they encountered were not as deadly. That said, it should be noted that Europeans were also commonly killed off by the diseases they brought to the New World. It's just that, over time, those who were more susceptible to these diseases died off and the survivors' immune systems had developed to the point where the general populace wasn't typically being wiped out at rates anywhere close to 95%, though the numbers were often still extremely high by today's standards. But contrary to popular belief, it wasn't all one-sided. It's believed that one Native American disease did slip onto the European ships and sailed onward to Europe, doing some major damage in the process. That disease was syphilis. Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Just three years later, in 1495, the first syphilis epidemic broke out among armies in Italy at the Siege of Naples, seemingly brought by French soldiers who in turn probably got the disease from Spanish mercenaries. Because of the French popularly spreading it, syphilis was initially known as the French disease. There was, up until very recently, some debate about whether or not syphilis was in fact a New World disease because there were over 50 skeletons that have been found with all the markings of syphilis being the cause of death and that were once thought to date to pre-Columbian times. However, advancements in dating technology and a recent 2011 comprehensive study published in the Yearbook of Physical Anthropology looking at all the skeletons placed those people's deaths after Columbus returned from the Americas. The initial syphilis epidemic is thought to have killed upwards of a few million Europeans as it made its rounds. Artist Albrecht Dreur remarked, God save me from the French disease. I know of nothing which I am so afraid. Nearly every man has it, and it eats up so many that they die. The disease continued to be a problem into the 20th century. It's caused by bacteria Trypanema pallidum, which can attack the nervous system, heart, brain, and internal organs. This causes a variety of health problems and sometimes death. A cure wasn't developed until the 1940s with the development of penicillin. 
So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below. It really helps out. And consider sharing this video with a friend. If you click the share tab below, you'll see a whole load of options for doing that. Also, if you enjoyed this video, another, another couple of videos you'll probably enjoy are on the screen to the right of me now. So check those out and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.